afternoon. Back with round two of ordering boots on Amazon that are in a low price bracket, like under 150 bucks. Today we got two from Rock Rooster. That's a Rock Rooster Tell You Ride Trinidad. They got two different names on the listing. Not sure why. This here is a a Sherway mock toe boot, and it looks a lot like a Thoroughgood. And I'll show you why I think they're copying them here in a second. And then we got the Rock Rooster Norwood, which has been their, uh, I think, their flagship model for a while. It's got the leather Goodyear welt and everything. So my, what I'm looking for is a wedge sole safety toe mock toe boot that I can get as cheap as possible to get me by at work. Now, I spent my own money on these, been wearing them around the house a couple of hours a day now on each of these, and they're all pretty good. Now, we'll go a little closer to them. I'll tell you what I do and don't like about them. But I don't think you can go really wrong depending on what your preference of style is on these. On the left, this... uh Trinidad Tell You Ride from Rock Rooster was $109 on Amazon. And I'll show you a little picture of the listing when we get closer. And this Sherway boot was $118, but they do have coupons that gets it down to less than $100. I don't know how long that's going to be on the listing, though, so we'll just call it $118 for now. And this Rock Rooster Norwood come out at $129 for my size. Depending on your size, the pricing's a little different. But we'll get you closer to these, and I'll tell you what I do and don't like about them. And I'm probably only going to keep one or two pairs of these to go with the pair of the Sherways from the other video we got that were under $100. Uh, I know a couple comments I've had, you know, don't buy trash boots, get, you know, Red Wings and stuff. I have Red Wings. I don't always have the money to spend on Red Wings. I got a pair now I can't wear for an eight hour shift without hurting my feet because it's getting older. But I mean, I don't have, you know, $300 to go get another set. So that's why I'm trying these out. See if I can't get something sustainable, get me by six months till I got 300 bucks. Because not everybody has the money to spend on the expensive boots. So I'm hoping we can find an option that, you know, I can use and maybe one of you guys can use. But hang tight, we'll get a little closer and I'll show you what we're working with here. All right, this is the Rock Rooster. Trinidad is also listed is called in at a tell you ride but there's the information on it and even at $109 you can see you're getting into Vibram soles and it's a real good looking boot my biggest complaint on this boot was that there's no speed holes up here you know like all these other boots got these speed eyelets for lacing up a little faster and this is a lined boot. You know, it's not straight leather, but it does have a uh, counter in this one, which some of the cheaper boots did not have a counter. Uh, it's pretty comfortable wearing it around the house. Haven't worn any of these to work yet because I need to pick one or two of them. I can't keep all three. And it is a good year welted boot. Uh, the little perimeter right here on this good year welt is plastic. I know they're higher end boot over there is a has a leather uh, trim piece but this one's plastic it's got a nice it's not too soft outsole but feels just right where you'll get a little cushion and like i said before it does have a vibram sole there is a uh, no toe stitch on this one uh, some of the sherway boots we've looked at i showed you in another video and this one we're about to look at over here do have a toe, extra toe stitch in the front and, you know, to me, that's nice insurance. Keep the front from peeling off. But either way, it's a good year welted boot. It should hold together all right and uh, very comfortable. And I'd say this one, uh, compared to their Norwood over there, is geared more to somebody who's in the office and the warehouse or office and the field. Uh, I'd say this is geared more to, you know, a 50-50 boot as opposed to a straight work boot, just because it doesn't have the uh, speed eyelets and stuff. Moving on to this Sherway boot. Uh, this was 118 
on Amazon, but it did have a uh, coupon for 18% off, so it took it down below $100. But I don't know how long that's going to be on there. Here is the model information for you. Now, this is an interesting boot. It's a lot thicker leather than their other boot that we got off the first video. But they're building this more like those Pacific Northwest boots where it has that curve in right there. It's not uncomfortable. Uh, I've, I've never had a Pacific Northwest boot. Doesn't bother me at all. It seems pretty good. Uh, the leather, like I said, the leather's a lot thicker. My gripe on this is that they sew these little USA tags on there just like Thorogood does. And I think they're trying to just make a straight up copy because it doesn't advertise on the box or on the listing, but right there, made in China. Now, I don't know why you would need to sew a little USA tag on something that isn't made in USA. I mean, they never said it was made in USA. I'll give them that, but it is, uh, it's built well. It does not have a Vibram outsole. It's just a kind of a copy. And But what I do like about this brand at this price point, they do have a toe stitch added on top of it being a Goodyear welted boot. Yeah, they do have other finishes on this. Uh, they have a brown and I think a uh, like a cherry or something like that. I will say uh, I ordered this in a 10 and a half. I, ordered, I wear a 10 and a half, but I had to send it back and get an 11. Uh, the 10 and a half was just too tight for me, and they don't offer a wide selection like as far as uh, double E or anything. So you, it's just straight sizes. The 11 did fit me just fine. It's not too loose or anything like that. I do also want to mention that this Sherway boot is lined as this real slick liner. They do not have a uh, counter. And this top cap stuff is that real thin fake leather and you know you can see where it's kind of been rubbing already right here i don't expect that to hold up for you know a year or anything like that so keep that in mind but the the outer leather is much thicker than their other boot and it's a lot stiffer i think it'll break in better moving on to the rock rooster norwood see the tag information right here as you can see this boot here is an 11 and a half I wear a 10 and a half. Now, I ordered a 10 and a half. They didn't have a wide option. So the 10 and a half was too tight for me. It was uh, too tight, not in the toe box, but you know, the overall length was just a little too short. I had enough width, but it was just a little too short and my toes were kind of jammed up in the front. So I sent the 10 and a half back, ordered an 11. And what I received in the mail was an 11 and a half. And I emailed them about it, and it turns out they said their uh, 11 they had on the shelf was defective, and they sent me an 11 and a half. Uh, it's okay. It's a little too roomy. I'm going to, I got and talked with them. Their customer service is great. They sent me a prepaid shipping label to send this back, and I'm going to get an 11 now that they have some more of those back in stock. But this is the only boot out of all these three that's actually an unlined boot. Uh, I live in Texas, you know, it's September 2nd, and it's still almost 100 degrees outside. I don't I don't really care for line boots that much, but it's hard to find one in the price point we're at. Uh, it does have a Goodyear welt, and this strap that goes around the outside is leather instead of plastic. And even boots that cost twice as much still use this, this piece right here as plastic. Uh, no toe stitch. But you do get Vibram soles, and we're only at 129 bucks here. Uh, the leather feels pretty good. I mean, it's not the thickest leather in the world, but I mean, it seems like it'd do the job for a year. Uh, I think it's real comfortable. I'm gonna have a hard time deciding once I get the uh, size 11 in this uh, between the three to keep. I'm almost thinking that I'm gonna send those back because they don't have the speed holes. And that's just kind of a deal breaker for me. So we might be putting these two boots head to head against the other Sherway boot from the other video. And I'll start rotating them out a pair every week and see where we go. But you got any questions, I'll try to answer them. Just let me know and we'll go from there. Talk to you later.